Hello, everyone. Welcome to State of the Game for June 23rd. It feels like it's been a while since we've been here. Well, it feels like it's been a while for me. I haven't done a good State of the Game in a while, and this is what I'm greeted to. If you haven't watched the State of the Game, we got a lot of stuff to cover. So strap in and brace yourself. So the state of the game for June the 23rd is here and I must say that those guys didn't watch any of my videos on how to make the division more fun. Um, if you have not seen any of those videos, please check it out right here. Uh, this will be for number one. Check out number one. It's got some, some decent stuff talking about it. Uh, a lot of people have seen number two, which is about the weapons. I think two is probably quite a bit more relevant, but uh, one does does have some pertinent information on how to kind of structure the game, which I think they're trying to do uh, when you hear about the way that the weapons are working, but I will let them talk about that later. The first thing that they talk about is some news about the PS4 and the 1.3 patch coming for PS4. Let's listen to that. Uh, the PS4 patch isn't ready to be pushed out on Tuesday. We'll have more news on that very, very soon, but um, that does not mean also that it will be delayed until the, uh, the August the 2nd, or I think it was. That's not the case, but we'll let you know as soon as that PS4 patch is going to get out. We will get that out as soon as we can, obviously, but again, more news coming very, very soon. So it's not coming. When is it coming? I don't know. When is it coming, Hamish? He doesn't know. So we just have to wait. More than likely, my guess is that it will probably be within the week. Uh, it will probably be maybe Wednesday or Thursday, hopefully, uh, maybe Friday, or at I'm guessing at the latest it'll be the next week. Uh, I really hope that they figure out how to whatever the problem is and they get it out as soon as possible i know people are looking forward to the weapons so here's to hoping for that i have a very special guest today i have frederick here welcome thank you welcome. hi i'm frederick uh i call you weapons guy but what you what, do call okay. me weapons guy <laughs> what, i do what should, what should other people call you i'm a senior designer on on uh, the division but for the purposes of today's discussion okay, you my be, role you is you can be weapons guy my weapons guy and gear set guy okay i'm, all right. I'm the creator and crusher of dreams right. Cool. all right <laughs> um so we have said that there are going to be some bonuses added to lng's shotguns ars and a change to the smg yeah can you tell us uh for people who don't know what those are Right, yeah. So we, uh, we've we been looking at balance for quite a while and we're looking at adding bonuses rather than reducing things to achieve balance. So mm -hmm. so we first took a look at the guns that didn't have bonuses because, mm -hmm. you know, we had SMGs and marksman rifles with bonuses. So for the LMGs, for the light machine guns, we wanted that element of suppression, i.e. you should stay in cover if you're getting shot yeah. by an LMG. So we're adding a bonus to LMGs called damage to targets out of cover. Okay. So how much how much damage? Um, I mean it's subject to rolls and the gods of RNG, but okay. somewhere twenty five percent ish. Okay, that's uh, a lot of damage. damage. Yeah, and I mean it's important to note that you do count as in cover if you've taken cover, even when you pop up an ADS. That's so what we're gonna say. So yeah. like, uh, for people who didn't catch that, if you are connected to cover, yeah, and you you have the ability to pop up and down, you are in cover. You're, you're in technically in cover, and you even won't if you're even if you're up. Yeah, and you and won't shooting. receive that extra damage. So okay. I'm not going to say people are going to start using cover in the dark zone, Maybe. but you will get a tangible benefit when fighting someone who has an LMG if you do use cover. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That's cool. Bonuses to the shotguns and ARs. Right. So for the shotguns, there's, there's a new rolled bonus, but there's also a tweak to the shotguns. Mm -hmm. So the, the rolled bonus is th their purpose when you were leveling you could shoot a rusher when he was coming at you and he would stagger and yeah, that was yeah, sort yeah. of a CC and then you could finish him off. And now when you're playing incursions and all of these elite level 30-something yeah, yeah. rushers, they, it just doesn't work anymore. So sure. now they get a huge amount of stagger against okay. NPCs. So now, again, you can just spray at a rusher when he's coming at you, even if he's high-level elite, and he's going to stagger. 
Mm -hmm. So they're going to be a useful tool for that. But obviously, stagger is annoying to have happen to you as a player in PvP if it's come from a bullet. Sure. So we don't have that on in PvP. So for PvP, the shotguns instead are getting a upwards 30% damage increase at like level 33 guns somewhere okay so a big there's a big flat increase to shotgun damage. yeah yeah cool. okay that's but, cool. um but will there ever i know that we talked about it a little bit earlier there might be a possibility of adding some effect maybe not stagger but yeah we do want all of these things to eventually make it into the pvp meta because we want this to be a homogenous game where yeah, everything yeah. works uh sort of like you expect everywhere but we haven't found a version of Stagger on players that feels right and not super annoying quite yet. So we're still mm -hmm. looking at that and, and you know, we we'll gladly have communication with our players on mm -hmm. what they think about that uh, going forward too. Okay. So any suggestions, please uh, throw them at us. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different alternatives that we could look at, you know. Yeah, we've like been talking about knocking around the camera a little bit or slowing you down or, or having mm -hmm. that be the player effect of Stagger. But we haven't really uh, reached it yet. So okay. Assault, rifles. Assault rifles. So... Assault rifles get armor destruction or armor penetration. So uh, this is useful against elites and, mm -hmm. and uh, named NPCs and so forth. And, and we did try various versions of, of getting this into the PvP meta as well, but we didn't find something that was really right just yet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep looking at that for the future. Uh, for now, um, I mean, luckily the Dark Zone is also full of NPC targets, so they still yeah. have a viable place in the Dark Zone and obviously in all of the other... Uh, PVE content, they have yeah. a, a large role. Uh, and that's around 20 odd percent uh, armor damage that they get. LMGs are getting a buff. We all know this. Shotties are getting a buff. ARs are getting a kind of buff. Not, not really. Actually, ARs aren't really. They're getting a buff for PVE, but they're not really getting a buff, if that makes any sense. Um, Check out the weapons video. I mean, that's that's really all I want to say about about the the stuff that they are proposing with their weapon balancing. Shotty's getting this stagger thing. Great, whoopity d. Happy about the damage bonus. That's it's a good healthy damage bonus. I think Shotty's uh, needed that uh, for getting in close and dealing that damage. But the way that the game is structured, there's you know. Keeping people out to make it worth it for a shoddy to get in, I think is still kind of missing for the game. LMGs, I 30% buff for anything out of cover, I think is a huge uh, you know, piece of damage, especially if it's hitting hard. Uh, tack on another 30%. That is some really good damage. Um, I still want to see how it plays out. I mean, just saying a raw number of, oh, yeah, you get 30% more damage. With the level, you know, with 75% damage mitigation on players, that's not... Is it really? Is it really going to hurt? If you're not, you know, leveled, if you're not optimized in your gear, it's it's going to suck. But if you are, which a lot of the people who go rogue and, and, and you know, grief people, those guys are like, hella... Fucking, they're 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 hella maxed. They're mid maxed for months, and yeah, you're. Is that thirty percent out of cover really gonna make a big difference? Can they still rush you? Can they still pop that health to get back on top of you? Now with shotguns doing more damage, I don't know. I think I think the way that a lot of this uh, stuff needs to be restructured. I put in my video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you have seen it, chime in on this video and let me know what you think about uh, the suggestions that I made and the suggestions that they are making in this 1.3 patch. Um, also, don't forget, uh, weapon paper DPS calculates at the optimal range for that weapon. Yes. So an AR, depending on how far away you are, will yeah. do more damage than Pe an SMG. Yeah, people sleep on the optimal yeah. range as a stat quite a lot, and... SMGs fall off quite aggressively yeah. over distance. Especially yeah. things like the Victor. Uh, yeah, and I, I think uh, maybe we, we, sh we should uh, maybe put, talk a little bit more at some point about how low that damage gets and how mm -hmm. quickly it gets low because I think that's a real advantage of both, both ARs and some LMGs over the SMGs. Yes. Optimal range. 
Uh, yeah, I think optimal range is something that a lot of people really need to concern themselves with, especially if you're using an SMG and you've only used an SMG. Uh, I hope that they do something with the fall off and make it even greater for SMGs. I think that would have been a good way to deal with them, but you know, optimal range is a really good thing to think about if you haven't already. So another change we did just to segue into that is that we we've changed the bonus that rolls on SMGs and it's worth noting that all of these new roles including the change to the roles on the SMGs mm -hmm. that they're they're going to affect new weapons after the patch. Yes. So they won't turn up magically on the weapons that you already have uh, for reasons for technical reasons. Yes. Um, but on the SMGs, because we want you to gear for your gun, that's mm -hmm. a core thing in our game. That's why we yeah. have the unlocks with the stat requirements, etc. We changed it to critical strike damage mm -hmm. instead. Because then you have to equip critical strike gear to get that damage out of your gun. Sure. Uh, and it's actually a slight buff because they get quite a lot of critical strike damage mm -hmm. and at the current cap of 60% critical strike chance if you can reach it now that you don't get that okay. all of that stuff from your SMG slightly higher than before okay cool but like you said in, in, in at the same time we did take a look at popularity and damage output of all yeah. of the guns and two weapons the vector and the aug yeah. those two families we have reduced their base damage by about 10% yeah. to uh, incorporate that into yeah. this balance Because change. even with the SMG fam within the SMG family, they're far and away. They, they are. I mean, yeah. the intention is, is not to have them be the highest base damage of all guns in the game. That was mm -hmm. just, uh, it, they just didn't sit right. So sure. And that change will affect the existing guns, even in your inventory. Yes. So, r r yeah, okay. We need to be clear on this because I think there's going to be a bit of confusion. Yeah. Um, actually, before we get to that, there is one other change that will be retroactive to M1As, which people may not notice, but I think it's worth yeah, it's pointing a subtle, out. Yeah, it's a subtle change. So if you're, I'm going to just go out and say it, if you're spamming shots with your M1A, um, there's a limit to how broad your, or how inaccurate it gets. Mm -hmm. That limit has been slightly increased. Okay. So if you're shooting at really high rate of fire, it's going to go a little bit less accurate okay than so before. the reticle bloom will be fur will will okay. be allowed to go a little okay. bit further out at rapid fire yeah okay all right those three things will be retroactive yes reticle bloom on m1a's for accuracy yes the org and the vector the base the vector. damage reduced for everything that exists yes. right now and in the future yes so smgs the new smgs will have crit damage your old smgs will keep crit chance now, what is the trade-off for this? Your old SMGs are getting a 10% damage reduction. All SMGs are getting a 10% damage reduction. And the way to balance this that they have come up with is with crit damage being more. So you will have less possibility for crit chance unless you roll into that with um, your pulse and things like that and your mods and all of that other stuff. And the only way to kind of make up that 10% damage to get you back on par is with the crit damage. So you have to roll crit chance to kind of try and catch up. Or you could just totally go balls out and, and buff your crit damage and hope that when it does hit, it hits for a lot. 10% um, nerf to SMGs, whether it's new or old. Keep that in mind. You may want to jump ship on the SMG. I, I still think SMGs are going to be very viable just because the keep out game for SMGs, I don't think is strong enough. But a base 10% damage, that kind of is a lot. And it's something to think about um, if you haven't already. So yeah, watch out. Your SMG is, is probably gonna, it's probably gonna, it, it, yeah. We'll, we'll see, I, we'll see. But as of Tuesday, when the patch comes out, mm -hmm. all of the things other than that will exist right now. So if you've rolled, obviously, critical hit chance on your weapons that will stay. Yeah, it's, it's on there. Yeah. All right. But anything new that drops will have will critical have strike. 
and the damage. new uh, the new shotgun buff, all of that stuff. The new uh, thirty, well, you know, the new percentage out of uh, cover on LMGs. Right. So I was asking you about this yesterday. The hungry hog, if it drops after the, it's going to be a better. It's going to be hog. a much better hungry hog. Yeah. That's a that's. So there are going to be no new bonuses on the uh, old weapons, which is kind of a bummer. Like no, okay. I have I, I have a secret stash of good weapons that I was hoping I could use in the new update, particularly uh, an LMG that you may have seen in my Got Tools video that has deadly and brutal. I was really hoping that I could use that. I've got uh, some ARs with, well, I got one really, really, really good AR. Eh, good for me. You might not like it. But it, it has uh, self-preserved on it, which I think is an amazing talent that nobody's talking about. I will probably get around to making a video for that. Uh, be on the lookout for that. Self-preserved is, self is good. But anyway, that the new talents like the armor damage for ARs, not going to be on your old weapons. Um, critical chance is going to stay on your SMGs. Critical damage is not going to make it. Shotguns are getting that stagger. If you had a good shotgun that had all the kind of perks and stuff on it that you liked, that stagger thing and the 30% bonus, remember there's a, there's, there's a bonus coming to the shotguns. Uh, is it 30%? Let me, look at my, let me look at my notes. Yeah, 30% bonus to level 33 and up uh, shotguns, that's not going to make it. So basically what this means is that the majority of the weapons that you've been holding on to that you like and that you really wanted to use, you have to refarm all of those. A lot of, a lot of the weapons that you are using right now, a lot of the weapons that you've crafted, spent all of those parts and, and all that stuff, Brush it away. It's gone. You got to start all over. Now, the gear sets, we'll get to that. There are two gear sets in particular that I know you like, that I know I like. They're going to get looked at. Anyway, I, I'll, let, I'll let next point. We'll move on to the next point. Um, Sentry and Striker have been changed. Right, so... We've known for a while that it was the go-to combination was to use a t two or three-piece uh, striker or sentry uh, mm -hmm. gear sets, right? And um, and and we like striker and we like sentry, but they they were just too ubiqu ubiquitous, and everybody yeah. was using them, especially we combined like the three-piece, right. three-piece. Yeah, the three-two-one. I mean, yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, the three-two-one with the mechanics gloves yeah. were, were a common yeah. are a common option. So what we've done is. We've, we've taken some of the power from the two and three piece bonuses mm -hmm. and moved them into a five piece bonus. So okay. the two and three are reduced, still viable, still mm -hmm. good bonuses, but some of those numbers are moved to a five piece bonus. Okay. So the so whole we, of the yeah. set retains its power, okay. but the combinations open up for actually being viable to use some of the other sets, two yeah, and three piece exactly. bonuses. So you could still roll around with five piece century, get the, yeah. get the four piece bonus, the end yeah. all of the stats, mm -hmm. and then roll with savage gloves or something if, yeah, you, yeah. if you wanted to do that. Yep, you heard that right. The five piece. <laughs> and no biscuit. <laughs> You're going to get a, a five piece century and a biscuit glove. It's, oh man, I... <laughs> what are they doing? Like I, 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 I mean, okay. If you need to rebalance some of these things, that's cool. But if you're gonna turn the whole game on its head, just turn the whole game on its head. Just change all that stuff around. If you're gonna mention we're changing centuries and we're changing uh, striker bonuses that were two and three pieces, and we're gonna move those to somewhere else or we're going to lessen the effect of 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 this and that to, and move it to somewhere what about tactician are you moving that what what happens with that do do they get a buff these older things how about the gear sets that we have now are there any of those that are going to change i want to hear about that now there's supposed to be some um data kind of blog post that's going to come out in the next 
I don't know, probably five or six hours. So in the morning, my time, or probably somewhere in the middle of the night, my time. So be on the lookout for that. Check out their blog and you'll probably see this new data. Is that going to be something that gives us a lot of new information about things that are being changed? I have, We don't know yet. We'll see. If it's something really pertinent, I'll make another video about it. But as of right now, there's so much stuff in this state of the game that a lot of this needs to be addressed. But I'm really kind of sad to hear about this Striker Century 5 piece. Ner <sighs> Nerf. Let's call it what it is. Nerf. The Striker Centuries Nerf. Feels good to say it. To just get it out. Say it with Nerf. Let's get nerfed. I love this one. Special ammo changes. Right. So special ammo. We've been. I, we can call this a nerf. Like it's, this. It's a, it's this a pretty is a hard proper nerf. nerf. So both types of special ammo, explosive ammo and incendiary ammo, have, in different ways, been redu reduced by, somewhere in the neighborhood of seventy-five percent effectiveness yeah. so incendiary ammo lasts for much shorter like the actual burn effect when you hit someone it lasts for a 30 percent of what it used to last for and yeah. the explosive ammo you know the typical use case that we see a lot is yeah. like an m44 with some explosive ammo you'd mm -hmm. like do twenty-five thousand damage and then an explosion for like a hundred thousand no ridiculous. longer the case. Yeah, so yeah. now the explosion will always be for the exact damage that the bullet was. All right. So they always scale one to one. I don't understand why they nerfed, more nerfed. <laughs> Sentries got nerfed. Strikers got nerfed. Fire bullets get nerfed. It's just nerf day. State of the nerf. So I, I don't understand why they're even keeping these special ammo things around. You you want to put these things into the game and you want to keep them into the game. But for what real reason? I, I really don't understand why you put a 75% reduction plus uh, the cooldown plus the effect of it last short. Why even use it? Why have it in the game? I don't really understand that just so that you can have that buff character kind of be relevant? The the set that gives you, applies a consumable to everyone in your group, yeah. it doesn't um, it doesn't allow you to do anything that you can't do already, it's, apart it's, from allow yeah. you to have stocks of it. It's supposed to allow you to be that buff bot, that like yeah. shaman paladin type yeah, backline yeah. support guy. Okay, but again, we, uh, we do recognize people's people feeling are worried. about it yeah. but we will we'll have to see what happens especially in light of these changes as well yeah so the consumable sets that everybody's been up in arms about i personally i i do not agree with having those sets in the game having a set that puts stuff on fire and lasts longer and does more fire damage for pvp that's going to be a nightmare um but, you know, with them saying that the effect of the incendiary bullets is going to last shorter, yeah, that's cool, but, you know, you still have the the guy who's going to be able to buff, you know, buff you with those fire bullets and explosive rounds. He's still going to be there. So, just get rid of these consumable ammo things. They, they don't really fit and they don't really work. I... For if you want to do that, then say that they don't work in PvP. Make it so that they work in PvE. You can do it in these dungeons that are coming up. But for PvP, that stuff shouldn't even be. If you want to say okay, if you want to say that stagger, if you want to say that stagger is not fair for the PvP. You know, which means they're locked out. They can't shoot. They can't move. They can't do all this other stuff. Then why is incendiary bullets, which basically does the same thing? Why is that okay? Also, um, <laughs> I was at E3, but obviously playing the build with a lot of people, and the people that played the build loved a gun, the new battle rifle. Yeah, there was a lot of love for that. Disclaimer, that will not be in the build that comes out uh, 
it, it was it was the E three build had a lot of work in progress stuff in it. That battle rifle was a work in progress. It's not quite done yet. I'm sorry. It I will feel get bad. I love that gun. It is so yeah, cool. It, it, it's a Desert Tech MDR. It's a great gun, but it's not quite done yet. It'll okay. get out there when it gets out there, but not yeah. right now for this patch. Yeah. The battle rifle. I was actually looking forward to that. I I like uh, the flashbang. I think the flashbang is uh, pretty underrated. But if you have low skill power. It is very good as a talent. Um, it's not going to make it into the game. I do look forward to it. I hope that they bring it out soon. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's an exotic. I'm, I'm guessing it is. It's uh, They're calling it an exotic. Somebody's been playing Destiny. Um, but yeah, the high end, or the exotic as it's being called, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to make it into the game. So you got to wait. We have exotics and some new weapons as well. Right, so, yeah. We were introducing new weapon families. All right, so the showstopper that people saw in the trailer for 1.2 that actually wasn't in 1.2. Which wasn't quite done yet because it's yes. difficult to make these things right. That's coming. It's coming. Uh, it's a fully automatic shotgun with a drum magazine. Oh my it's God. absolutely r ridiculous. <laughs> uh, and it, has a, it rolls with a talent called the showstopper, which mm -hmm. shrinks your uh, reticule the less ammo you have left in the magazine. Okay. So it, it gets almost pinpoint accurate at the last few bullets. Will it shells. kind of, in a way, feel like an LMG? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, it will. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So it always rolls with that uh, free talent. That's cool. And then we have the G36. It's a very okay. anticipated assault rifle family. There's a couple of variants, I think three of that. Okay. And it rolls... Uh, with a talent uh, geared towards uh, your skill usage. So yeah, it's it a talent it called Focused yes. as well. So that one's interesting. It seems like on paper I need it, um, but it's going to do what exactly? So when your skills are not on cooldown, you get more damage out of the gun. All right. Yeah, I think uh, that was in the build at E3 as well. Yeah, People so picked up on that. As soon as you use your pulse or whatever else you use to increase your damage, that talent is inactive. As soon as, you're mm -hmm. n as nothing's on cooldown, then that talent's active. So there's this seesaw between your, your talents contributing, uh, this talent contributing, and your skills contributing to mm. your damage. That's cool. Uh, the SVD family of weapons. Right. Have a so talent called Decisive. Yeah, some anticipated marksman rifles. Um, the Decisive talent means that if you kill something, your next shot is going to be a critical hit. Hmm. So it allows you for very precise, planned headshotting, probably a lot of. Um, Ads you can take out yeah, successively yeah, yeah. if you're successful. I was going to say weapon. crit hit damage is going to yeah, be yeah. For yeah, yeah, if you're running a build around that because yeah. if you know you're getting crits. Yeah, but it's not a it's not a random chance. It's yeah, yeah, if yeah, you've exactly. killed someone, the next shot. So you you got to take you got to take care of those shots yeah. and make sure you use them. Nice. And then the PP19, which is an SMG. It's an odd one. It has like a little drum magazine. Yeah, it kind of looks like a little fan. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite a large capacity SMG. I really like it. It has a beefy sound on it, mm -hmm. and and the more you crit with it, the faster the reload. That's the talent. That's that's cool on it. Um, so I mean, it kind of yeah. will uh, flatten out to be a base reload speed increase. Increase, yeah. All right, that's, that's factored cool. into the gun, and this is how we want to bring new guns to people because there's already a lot of guns there. But the, and that's great that you get some new handling guns. But on the RPG side, we want them to be new as well. So that's why these have these new talents that only roll mm -hmm. on these uh, weapons. Well, that was a mouthful. Lots of new information about these weapons, new weapon types, new exotic high-end weapons. There's lots of stuff going on with weapons. And it's good to see that they're you know, pushing out different weapons and making it so that they are new things that people can play with and enjoy. I'm looking forward to these things. Um, I, I, I do like the fact that weapons and weapon types are starting to roll with a specific talent. I think that's really good, and I think that's something that they should have introduced a long time ago with the named weapons. I think the named weapons should each have their own very, very special pool of talents that can roll on them uh, that are almost game-breaking. I don't want to say game breaking and OP, but I want to say that they should be almost game breaking for a specific build. I think if you had certain talents that worked really well for a build and had them on named weapons only, I think people would uh, play with the named weapons a little bit more. And then, you know, just make sure that the normal weapons had good talents, all around good talents, 
um, that, you know, would work out for them. Uh, but, but on talents. Yes. Weapon. Oh, yes, this one. I love it. Uh, you will now be able to recalibrate your weapon talents. Right. Mm. So people saw this. So good. Yeah, people saw this weapon <laughs> kit that was on E3, this yes. new little thing, and speculated on Reddit and whatever, what it was for, and it's for paying for recalibrating your weapons. You nice. Get to, you get to pick one of your talents and unlocks on your weapon and re-roll it to a completely new one. Nice. So you if you have, like, yeah. It will work very similarly to how gear recalibration yeah. works. You basically pick a slot, yeah. do it, and then you get a, yeah. a list of available ones. But I mean, what it's going to mean for us, is, uh, in just in comfort, is if you find a gun that's two so close, two thirds good, yeah. you can get that god roll mm -hmm. by uh, recalibrating it. I'm, I'm really so happy good. that we finally managed to get that in there. That is awesome. That's very, very cool. Talents can be re-rolled on guns. Yay! Uh, I don't know about that. So here we go again. There are more currency that is being pushed into the game. <sighs> the weapon kit. That's that's the new the new currency that's going to be in the game for re-rolling re-rolling guns. The weapon kit. Why 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 have they not made phoenix credits viable if okay let me let me stop there let me stop there if in this new update if in this new update they make it so that phoenix credits can buy this weapon kit if they make it so that phoenix credits can buy tools electronics if they make it so that phoenix credits are the universal credit i will be happy I will be ecstatic. I will love the game for getting something right. But the reality is that more than likely they will not do anything relevant with the Phoenix credits and we will have to farm these new weapon kits to try to re-roll the things that we want. And as many of you know, with re-rolling your armor, You'll probably eat through a ton of whatever this new currency is and not even get what you want. Or if you're one of the very lucky few who gets what they want off of the first or second roll, then good for you. But keep in mind, there is a very long list of talents that you might have to wade through to try to find that perfect roll for you. And I can see a lot of people are going to probably be frustrated with this as well. I really, I don't know what to say about that. I, I wanted to be happy about the new reroll system for the weapons, but I will hold off my final judgment until I see it in action and, and use it for myself. But as of right now, with the past experiences of the game i'm not super excited about it and that's just keeping it real so this has been the state of the game um i wish i wish they took a look at my video <laughs> I, I wish they they saw that there is importance in crowd control or spatial control and made the appropriate changes that would make it a lot more fun for people and more rewarding for the aggressive player who wants to get in and do damage and make it so that when they do get in and do damage, they, they wreck shop. Um, and for the people who like to play long distance, making it fun for them to get those headshots and be rewarded for keeping people out would be an amazing thing. But We'll see how this all goes. It's it's all they they said they're gonna listen to the the feedback of the community. They're gonna watch the game, see from the data what happens. So I hope that you know they they catch wind of some of the changes that people want to see, and I hope that the game gets fixed. But as of right now, there are a lot of questionable things in the air that I am holding off judgment and waiting to see. So. 
that's all I can say about that. Um, thanks to everybody who's been watching my videos and supporting me. Uh, I'm over 2,000 followers on YouTube, so thank you guys very much. I really appreciate all the support. Thanks for all the comments. You guys are the best. Uh, thanks for the questions and comments and voting on Twitter. You guys rock. I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, no matter what happens with the changes of this game, you guys who have been supporting me and holding it down, and even to the people who've not been too nice about <laughs> my content, uh, that's still fine. I take all of it in stride, and I hope to continue on making some good content that you can enjoy and that helps people out. Uh, these are, of course, my opinions on the state of the game. If you like them, don't like them, you agree, you disagree, Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think, what you feel. What are the things you're looking forward to the most? What are the things that you think are a complete bad idea and you really hope that they need to change all of that? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know. I am Khan, TDK, Mr. So Real. Until the next video, go!